So a couple weeks ago, Expo released version 38, and with it they included a new Google Fonts package that allows you to use the nearly 1,000 fonts that are available from Google. It works on both iOS and Android, and it's very easy to set up. So let's see how to do that. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like it and subscribe if you're not already. Also, make sure to check the description for information on my upcoming course on creating a Instagram clone in React Native. So the first thing that we need to do is install the package of the font that we want to use. So let's go to our terminal and we install it with expo install at expo Google fonts and then the name of the font that we want to use. I'll put a link in the description of a website that's a directory of all the fonts that are available as well as the package names and import statements that you'll need to use. So for this video, I'll be using Railway. Okay, now that's installed. Now let's import all the variations of the font that we want to use. Again, that website will have all of these import statements for you. Now also in all of the font packages, the use fonts hook is included, so we need to import that also. While we're here, let's also import the app loading component. Now we need to get our fonts loaded into the app. And to do that, we use the use fonts hook. The hook will return a boolean if the fonts were loaded correctly, and also an error if they weren't. So now that we've loaded the font, we want to make sure that it's fully loaded before we try to render it. So we'll check to see if it's not loaded and return the app loading component if so. Now let's actually display it. We'll duplicate this text and we'll give it a font family. The font family corresponds to how you loaded it up here and you can see that it's working. Now let's add another one. And you can see that one's also working. You probably don't want to be typing out these long names, so instead we can do it like this. We'll call this one extra bold. And reload the project. And now you can see that this one corresponds to this one. You can also load any custom font you want if you have the actual font file. Here you can see that I have a custom font called Lobster Regular, and we can load it in much the same way. We'll give it a name, and then we'll just require the font. Now we can use it in basically the same way as we've done the other ones. And there you can see that we have it loaded. So that's about all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you back for the next one.